Philippine Nurses, Licensure Examination, Nursing Practice 3, Care of Clients with Physiologic and Psychosocial Alterations, Part A. Master Your Nursing Practice 3. Let's start. Situation 1. Concerted work efforts among members of the surgical team are essential to the success of the surgical procedure. Question number one. The sterile nurse or sterile personnel touch only sterile supplies and instruments. When there is a need for a sterile supply which is not in the sterile field, who hands out these items by opening its outer cover? Letter A. Circulating nurse. B. Surgical technologist. C. Anesthesiologist. D. Surgeon. Answer. Letter A, circulating nurse. Explanation. The circulating nurse, who is non-sterile, is responsible for obtaining items outside the sterile field and providing them to sterile team members. They open the outer packaging without touching the sterile contents, ensuring that the sterile nurse can retrieve them without contaminating the sterile field. Question number two. What should the circulating nurse do if there is a question about the sterility of an item or area within the sterile field? Letter A. Continue the procedure without making any changes. B. Replace only the questionable item or area. C. Ask for a new sterile field to be set up immediately. D. Disregard and continue if the item looks clean. Answer. C. Ask for a new sterile field to be set up immediately. Explanation. If the sterility of any item or part of the field is in question, the circulating nurse should ensure that sterility is maintained by setting up a new sterile field or replacing contaminated items. Any uncertainty must be resolved by assuming the item is contaminated to prevent infection. Question number three. During surgery, which team member's primary responsibility is to monitor and manage the patient's vital signs and anesthetic depth? Letter A, circulating nurse. B, anesthesiologist. C, scrub nurse. D, surgical technologist. Answer. B, anesthesiologist. Explanation. The anesthesiologist's role is to monitor the patient's vital signs, including heart rate, blood pressure, oxygen levels, and anesthetic depth. This oversight is critical for patient safety during the procedure, ensuring the patient remains stable under anesthesia. Question number four. In the event of a breach in the sterile field, which member of the surgical team is responsible for immediately notifying the rest of the team? Letter A, circulating nurse. B. Scrub nurse. C. Anesthesiologist. D. Surgical assistant. Answer. B. Scrub nurse. Explanation. The scrub nurse, who maintains close contact with a sterile field, must be vigilant for any contamination and immediately alert the team if a breach occurs. This allows the team to take corrective action to maintain sterility and patient safety. Question number five. What is the primary reason for maintaining a sterile field during surgical procedures? Letter A. To keep surgical instruments organized. B. To reduce the risk of postoperative infection. C. To minimize blood loss during surgery. D. To maintain patient comfort. Answer. B. To reduce the risk of postoperative infection. Explanation. The sterile field is essential for preventing microorganisms from contaminating surgical sites. Maintaining sterility is a fundamental measure to reduce the risk of postoperative infections, which can lead to serious complications for the patient. Situation 2. Proper management and confidentiality of patient records are essential to ensure that patient information is protected and available only to authorized personnel. Question number six. Patient records may expose healthcare providers to liability if documentation is incomplete or inaccurate. 
in which situation could improper documentation become a legal liability for the nurse? Letter A. When the documentation is detailed and up-to-date. B. When errors are crossed out without a proper correction process. C. When patient care is documented immediately after each intervention. D. When the nurse documents patient improvement. Answer. B. When errors are crossed out without a proper correction process. Explanation. Improper documentation, such as crossing out errors without clear corrections or initials, can be used as evidence of negligence in a legal case. Nurses should use the correct method, such as drawing a single line through an error and initialing it, to maintain a legally sound record. Question number seven. To ensure proper handling and disposal of patient records in public healthcare facilities, the institution must work with which government agency to oversee compliance with privacy laws? A. Department of Justice. B. Department of Health. C. National Privacy Commission. D. Civil Service Commission. Answer. C. National Privacy Commission. Explanation. The National Privacy Commission oversees compliance with privacy laws, such as the Data Privacy Act, which includes proper handling and disposal of medical records. Government hospitals and institutions must coordinate with this agency to ensure patient data is securely managed and disposed of according to legal requirements. Question number eight. If a healthcare provider needs access to a patient's medical records for a retrospective study, which department should they obtain permission from to access the records? A. Billing Department. B. Medical Records Department. C. Patient Admissions. D. Nursing Station. Answer. B. Medical Records Department. Explanation. The Medical Records Department manages and controls access to patient records. For research purposes, this department handles authorization requests, ensuring patient confidentiality and compliance with institutional policies and legal requirements. Question number nine. If a patient is readmitted after being discharged from another department, where should a nurse request the previous records to ensure continuity of care? A. Nurse in the other department. B. Records office or medical records department. C. Patient's family. D. Administrative Office. Answer. B. Records Office or Medical Records Department. Explanation. The Medical Records Department securely stores and provides access to discharge patient's records. When a patient is readmitted, retrieving the previous chart from this department ensures the care team has all the necessary information to maintain continuity of care. Question number 10. Hospitals are responsible for adhering to record retention policies for patient medical records. A healthcare facility must comply with DOH policies on record retention if it meets which criterion? Letter A. It is privately owned. B. It has more than 50 employees. C. It is an accredited healthcare institution. D. It is a publicly funded or government-operated hospital. Answer. D. It is a publicly funded or government-operated hospital. Explanation. Public hospitals and government-operated healthcare institutions are required to comply with the Department of Health, DOH policies, including those on record retention and disposal. Compliance ensures proper management, accessibility, and legal adherence to record-keeping standards.